Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start at least the beginning of this probably long video. I'll be restuffing and weighting the babies and doing eye changes as well as the little glue trick around the ridges of the limbs to, um, to make them a lot more movable. But um, anyway, here's what I use. Um, we use the really nice angel silk. It's so nice and soft. It's not like, I don't know, it's just super nice, like silky, soft. Um, it's, this is a two pound box and it's usually $20, pound, $20 for a two pound box, but it lasts a while. And then this is, you can buy this in bulk, and I haven't even gotten into this yet, but this is the, um, the glass beads. Now I've got two different sizes in this container here. I've got this, it's almost just like sand, and then these bigger ones I got out of one of our other dolls. That's a little, little bigger. Personally, I like the ones that are like sand. I just think it feels nicer, but you know, those are good too. Um, we get all of this from Bountiful Baby, by the way. But you can um, order stuff like this, like from Dolls by Sandy. These are the um, zip ties, they're 14 inch, and they have the little heads on them. Because we've tried to get some at Lowe's, um, to be cheaper, but they've got the big fat square heads on them and it's just not good for dolls. And then I use these, I use this to pry off the limbs and to try to also, you'll see, like get stuffing out of limbs and things like that. And this I use to clip the zip ties when we're all done, which you'll see. And then these little scissors with the nice fine point I use for a lot of different things. And then this scalpel I use for the eyes. This is what I use for that little trick um, to get the limbs to move freely. And Q-tips as well for the limb trick. And then you're gonna need some knee highs. And they, you can, we used to use one pair per, um, <laughs> one pair per scrotum, right mom? <laughs> right. <laughs> we, right. We, uh, and we call it a screw. You'll see why later. But um, now we realize you can cut this up into about three different pieces. And um, these are from other dolls. And and use it for like smaller scrotums. You can either call it a <laughs> scrotum or a nut sack. Yeah. yeah. Scrotum or nut sack we like to call it. But you you know if you're proper you can call it uh, just I don't know glass uh, beads ball. Oh, Either way, it's a no, it's a ball. It's glass beads ball, yo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just got finished watching an episode of Breaking Bad, you right, some, Mom? You got some sick stuff in here, yo. <laughs> yeah, but that thing in your nursery—that's a sick crib, yo. <laughs> yeah, <it is. laughs> and um, if you're over fifty, you will need these <laughs> reading glasses. And if you're over seventy, you might need a magnifying glass in addition to that. Yes, but my mom is. A, expecting a doll today and I might be getting one but either either way uh, we will be doing a stuffing video but um, anyway like I said we buy all this from Bountiful Baby for the most part um, especially if they have a sale now Bountiful Baby had a sale I, it might still be going on where everything was half off and my mom and I were like oh yay wow let's go get and, and it was it was a good deal but the thing that freaked us out and irritated us was they upped their shipping then which I thought was wrong. Because I think Bountiful Baby shipping is really expensive anyway. It's usually $10. And now, all of a sudden, during their sale, it was $15. So that's kind of... But we're getting it today. Oh, oh, we are, Mom? Yeah. Okay, I thought we were getting it tomorrow. Anyway, more later, once we get the doll. Bye. Bye. All right, so I'm going to attempt to do this stuffing video now. My mom just got a new doll, and I'm going to stuff her. My mom has run out of steam, so... I am hoping to do this without my mom right now. But I offered to help. Yeah, when I do the eyes. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take off her limbs. So um, sometimes you can just pop them off, but this I can feel has a little ring or tube of some sort in there. So 
it's not as easy to pop off. So I take these things. I don't know what these things are wearing out, Mom. You missed that. Yeah, I know, but they're wearing out. Well, so I they're over thirty years old. I put it under like that, and then sometimes, especially when you're trying to worry it up for being on video, it's not gonna. Of course, Mom, when I'm trying to do this online, it, on video, it gives me a problem. Let me at least hold Mom, it. holding it's not going to help. Well, you guys don't understand that my mom, when she gets tired, I want her to sit down. But she won't sit down, will she? <laughs> nope. Well, Mom, I know that you're not helping when, when I'm worried about you. Normally, it's not this difficult. I don't know why this wants to give me a problem. Gosh. Normally, I pop these babies right off of here, don't I, Mom? Yeah. Maybe you run out of steam too soon. No, it's, there's a stupid cup in there, which is good for people that don't want the legs to come off easy. But when... There. See, what was causing me the problem was this oh, thing. That. Yeah, because that, yeah, it's not flexible at all, and I couldn't. But without that, you can easily flex the legs, so. And then what I do, I do that to all the limbs. And I'm not going to show you all those limbs to spare you the pain of watching it all. And I go and I open up her, the little thing like that. It looks like they've weaved that in like that. And I clip it and pull it right out. Okay. Now this does not have a thingamabob in it, a zip tie. Now, some people might say, well, why don't you just, instead of prying it out, why don't you just get in there and clip? You can try that. I don't like to do that because I'm afraid I'm going to hurt the body if it's on really tight like that. But maybe maybe some people have better luck than I do with that. I just don't really trust myself. So I'm going to now stuff, just pretend like all those limbs are off. I, I will take the head off, all the limbs, and then I take this yucky stuffing out. That's what I call it. Yeah, use your hands. I'm good, Mom. If I need to, I will. I usually don't need the hemostat to pull stuffing out. But remember when you let me do that and this, you said it helped Yes, you. but Mom, you're not, you don't have any energy right now. I'm sorry, but I'm trying to help you. I know. Okay, so I've still got a little stuffing in the foot, which I like. Otherwise, the foot sounds like this. And if the foot sounds like that, I usually put the glass beads in the foot because it's real hard to get stuffing down in there. But there's still stuffing in there, I can tell, because it doesn't make any sound, and I can feel it in there, okay? <coughs> so I've taken most of the stuffing out. I can feel the stuffing, like, right up to about there. And I'm going to weight the legs a little bit with some of this, with my little glass beads here, okay? And it just depends how much you want to weigh it. I just pour it right into there. I usually do it over this container, but to show you, I have like a flexible cup that I like to pour like this. I used to use a funnel and all this other crap, but I like doing it this way better. And she's a little baby, so I, I think I'm going to put more in there. I still... I'll put a little bit more in there. It's just up to your liking of how, much, how many glass beads you want to put in there. Then after I get the glass beads, I can feel them right in there, right about there. And sometimes I have them down lower. It doesn't have to be an exact science. And then I stuff. <laughs> She's driving me nuts. Look at this. She's really. Mom? I'm trying to help. I know, but you're. Mm. <laughs> I know, sweetie. But, but I, Mom, you're going to make yourself like sick. I don't like to feel you. You're not useless at all, Mom, but when you're tired, you're tired. I don't want you to get more tired. Well, if I get more tired, I'll go sleep. No, you won't. I don't believe you. <laughs> and then 
I stuff the bad stuffing. I do not use the angel silk in here. Mom, give me the body. I need it real quick. Hurry, quick. And then I take um, the yucky stuffing out of the doll that they put in, and I use it for the limbs. Okay. Don't take her yet, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> you think you're smart, don't you? No, I just don't want you to get worn out. I don't think she has those hard things in her arms. That's why I was trying to get her arms out. Yeah, Does she? I don't think so. I hope not. I think that's and I pack it pretty pretty tight. I mean, I like her, I like their limbs to be packed pretty tight. Yeah. Sometimes I like to maybe work the glass beads down in there a little bit, but it's pretty good. Just shove that sucker down in there. Sometimes if it's a big baby and it has long legs, I get like a tool f from like my mom's kitchen, like a wooden spoon handle, and I shove it in there. To shove in more. Because you like wooden spoons. Don't you? No, you used to spank me with them. <laughs> Child abuse. <laughs> well, I was spanked with a brush. Well, that's the way it was back then. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I've done one limb and I would do that to all the limbs. Okay? Now I'm going to pry off her head and show you how to do the eyes. But don't worry, we'll come back to the limbs. I'll show you how to put them back on the body. She probably does have a tube in her lip, you know, to make. Uh, no. She feels soft. I don't think she does. I think she just had those tubes in her legs. Same thing with... I got her mom. It's just kind of hard to do when I'm trying to make sure it's on film. I'm trying to look at the video as well as do this. Aren't I got you? her. I got her. She's coming. See? There you go. Okay, sit down, Mom, please. Now, I don't know why you're going to get busy with that body when I'm going to need you, Mom. This is about the eyes right now. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, but you're not going to do that right this I second. am going to do it in about two seconds. Okay, so I pull the... <laughs> I guess you guys can see that me and my mom, we can get pretty sneaky with each other. Yes, we can. Okay, so I've taken out all of her stuffing. She's totally empty-headed like myself. And then, um, Mom, do you have a flashlight? Yes, it's right here. Uh, I guess I do. How do you turn the dumb thing on? The, that little button. Oh. Of course, flashlights don't... For some reason, oh, there we go. See those two... Um, little whatever you want to call them bulbs in there <laughs> that's where the eyes are and they've been um, you know there's plastic over them and that's where you're going to use your um, exacto knife not the exacto knife but the scalpel okay mom come here I need you okay because my next step is to okay. cut halfway into those you do not do not cut the whole no I, I do you take oh. this mom oh okay are you close enough? I don't want you bending over where you're not going to be comfortable. Oh, honey, you don't you worry about me well, too much. Well, duh, yeah, of course I do. You? You're too sweet. Okay, so I'm going to have this in my mouth for a minute. Hold on. Okay. Sorry, Mom, but it's like I used to nurse to take, take blood pressures and stuff at night. What do you want me to do? Mm -hmm. I want you to try to get in to show what I'm doing in, in here. Okay. Can you can you manage? I mean, yeah. I don't know if you can do that. See that bulbous thing there that, that her eye is encased in? Kirstie's going to take her scalpel and run it along the top or, you know, one section of it. Right, Kirstie? Mm -hmm. And just make a half circle. A half circle around. See how she's doing that? Not exact science, but now she peels that down. Alright, so yeah, I um hey maybe you can see it here good in my camera. Yeah. So you can see the crack in there and it's not it doesn't have to be perfect. It's just enough to get that eye out of there. You don't want to like when I first started doing this, I said out of heck with it, I'm gonna take the whole circle off. Right. And that was stupid. So then I had to duct tape the eyes yeah. so that the eyeballs wouldn't come out, and that's just gross and gummy and nasty. 
All right, so now I am going to put, um, you know, push the, push eye, the eye out. Yeah. So now, and once you do that, then you come here and it should pop out pretty easy. See, see That's how it's starting to come yeah, out. Yeah. And I guess we can show it on the inside what it's doing. Let me get a good. You have to shine the light I'm in there. Trying. Too. What is going on? Okay. There it is. See, see how it's um coming it's out. Crowning. <laughs> okay, um, that one. Let me show you. Uh, there you it go. came, and then that. watch. Oh, well, it did, here, turn back here like this. It was in there, and then I went like this, and it popped out. Yeah. Okay, so now, oh, I'm blind. now I'm going to do it to the other side. We can go ahead and keep filming, but. Um, I'm just like my grandmommy. I'm blind in one eye. I can't see out of the other. And. This doll is soft. Now, one time, before we knew about these dolls, I, um, there you go. thank you, when you say you're not helpful. Um, when we were getting some Paradise Gallery dolls, one of my favorite dolls from PG was the Big Boy Sculpt. And I wanted, I didn't know how to change eyes at all back then. And some sweet lady said, well, you're not going to want to do it to Big Boy because that doll is... Very yeah, very hard. Um, so yeah, you don't want to. Your stomach's growling, Mom. Are you hungry? No. I hear it going bloop. I know. <laughs> You're so cute. I'm just old. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now this one I don't know if I cut it enough. All right. So. Tilt the neck over a little bit. There you go. But then I can't see. That's why this oh, is okay. really hard to do. Okay. But I mean, I think I showed the first one good enough. Yeah, you did. That's fine. I don't want that. I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> All right. The film got a little uh, cut off when we were trying to do it. But I pretty much showed you how to do at least one. And then um, now I'm going to put the, the new eye in and see that little crack there. Yeah. You're going to be. Um, pushing this new eye in. I'm not going to talk because I'm going to put the flashlight in my mouth. Through the back, right? Mm -hmm. You're pushing the, the new eye in through the back. Mm -hmm. well, uh -uh. well, why don't you go ahead oh, and do oh, it? Oh, uh -huh. oh, sure. uh, uh. oh, I'm sorry. Oh, film it. Watch. I am. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> She's got a flashlight in her mouth and an uh, eye in her hand. That's your little heart. Can you see? Yeah. See the eye is coming. Here it comes. Here it comes. Looks a little scary. You just kind of got to finagle it, okay? Yeah, like, what do you think, Kirstie? Do you like that color? Do you like the darker color? Well, I can put the... Let me put the old eye back in and see what you think. And what we do is sometimes we have a choice... Yeah, a couple different colors, and then we put them in, and we decide which one we want. Yeah. Oh, so now, this doll's eyes were pretty good, but I, I like... Are you still filming it? Yes. I wanted to try the lighter oh, glue. Sometimes you got to try it a couple times and get that sucker in there. Yeah. You all right, sweetie? I'm totally fine. Kirstie. I like the the lighter one, but I don't know. I think I like both of them. I don't like that. You're not filming it. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> There's the light one. Okay. There's the darker one. What do you think? I don't know. It's your doll, Mom. I think you should decide. I don't want it to look too stark. You want me to just keep the dark eyes in there? Or do you have another set of dark eyes you want to put in? There? I do have a set of darker blue. Okay, you want to try those? Yeah. Okay, let's stop it. Stop the film. All right, so my mom picked her eyes. We're going to do these ones. But now, I don't know if I have them in totally straight. So what I do is I um, kind of screw around with it. Um, like, let's see. 
um, I might like put my thumb in here and move it around a little bit with my thumb on the inside of there. See, now it's not quite right. You just kind of got to mess with it. See, now it seems. really kind of hard to do this on TV. <laughs> Not TV, but you know what I mean. <laughs> you want me to hold the camera? No, I got it. Um, I just got to move her eyes so that they don't look kooky or anything. I don't know. See what you think. Mom. You have to look at her eyes. And I'm trying to do it on film, so <laughs> it doesn't look messed up. Well, this one, she looks like uh -huh. this one needs to be up a little bit. Yeah, I think. I can do it. Okay. So then anyway, after we do that and we get the eyes situated, now a lot of people, what they do is they glue. Let me show you. But I don't glue anymore. Um, they use this tacky glue. Now I do use this to put the eyelashes on, and I'll show you how I do that too. Um, but I used to do what I learned on YouTube, which was to glue the flap closed again. But I don't do that anymore, and I'll tell you why. Because I stuff the head so much with this lousy stuffing that it really doesn't need it. For us, we haven't noticed that it's caused us a problem. So we don't even glue them. But if you want to, I would take a, what I used to do, is take like a spoon, okay? And put some of that tacky glue on the handle, and then have like a lump of tacky glue on there and then you go you just spread it around there and you let it dry for probably a good I don't know like overnight um, but I just don't do it anymore whoops sorry baby um, so I'm gonna make sure to fix her eyes just like my mom wants them then I'm going to um, not glue in there I'm just going to stuff it with this stuff <laughs> And then I will be back to show you how to put the eyelashes on. All right, I'll just show you um, that I, how I stuff her head. It's not really that hard. And you can put um, a bag of um, glass beads in there if you wish. I used to do that, but we don't really like to do that anymore because it makes their heads wobble, wobble over and my mom doesn't really like that. Where's her body? Can I have her body, mom, please? Real well, quick. I ain't got no body. I mean, I'm like, just trying to get her. I know. Arm out. But can you? I'm no, sorry. Because I'm in the middle of this. All right. I'll stop the film then. Okay. All right. So I grabbed some old stuffing from. We've got um, old stuffing in a bag in my mom's spare room. But usually I just pull it out of the body because they usually stuff it. No, not usually. They always stuff it with this lousy stuffing that I call lousy stuffing. But I don't use the angel silk for their limbs or the head because it's too expensive. Yeah. And you can't tell that it's yeah. angel silk anyways. When you it's only need there. the angel silk for their bodies. Yeah. Makes them more cuddly. And I apologize if this video like maybe doesn't show things like it should. It's kind of hard to do with, especially when you're doing the eyes. Yeah, that is difficult. And I try to push stuff like into the cheeks. And, I, I, and another reason why we don't really feel the need to weight the head is because I put so much stuffing in it that and I make sure to push the stuffing into like the back of the head, like back in here. See, I just keep shoving it in there. And that kind of helps hold the eyes closed too, the flaps back there. Um, now, if you have a young child or something, I would definitely say glue those flaps shut because maybe they're gonna poke around at the eyes or something, but we don't poke around at our eyes. Do we, Mom? No. Oh, I guess I could 
take her. Okay, she's good to go now. Can I take her stepping out of her body? I don't care. Even though I don't have the one leg off. Yeah, now I'm going to show them how to do. Okay, here's my eyelashes that my mom, well, they're my mom's eyelashes. These are the baby ones, right, Mom? Yes. From Bountiful Baby? Yes. And they're light brown. And so what I do first, after I, I drop, drop, them, on, drop them on the floor, is I take a napkin or a Kleenex, and I just put a teensy, tiny little bit of, you don't need much. Right, like that. Now, some people, they use tweezers and stuff. I just don't, I've never done it that way. I use not the sharp side of this knife, but the opposite side to kind of help push them on there. I'll show you how I do it. That's pretty smart, Kirsty. Yeah. Might be easier with, like other people probably that are more professional at this than I am probably have a lot better ways, but. Okay, so these eyelashes, they just, I, I bend it and they just come right off, okay? Then I take it over here to my glue pile and I kind of just touch it through the glue pile. Yeah, I kind of rake it along the glue pile like that so that the whole eyelash has glue on it. Okay, I think there's just a little piece in the middle that needs some glue. I'm going to make sure I didn't. All right, so now. Put it with my fumbly fingers on there first just to get it and you're going to set it on top of the eyeball then i take this and kind of work at it bring it down to what my fingers couldn't do okay and then i scrape off with the opposite side not the sharp side of the, uh, the knife and sometimes you've got to clean it off like this because if you don't then the tip here will get all sticky and then you'll have a big problem because it'll keep trying to pull the eyes off and everything Eye eyelashes anyways so I just I make sure I push it in make sure it's nice and see it wanting to pull that off and if that happens I just make sure to clean it up real good and probably stick it back down in there. Sometimes that stuff happens. Okay, there. It's on there now. And it will dry clear, but I try to get this off as much as possible. Okay, these are light brown, so you're really not going to see them a lot. Are they okay for her, though? Yeah, I think they're fine. It's just I'm trying to get a better picture for them. I'm going to get this. this up like this. Oh, yeah, that's better. You're a good filmographer. This, I would work with this. See how that's kind of going down into the eye? I'm going to work with that a little bit. Hold on. I need no I need my granny glasses those will help me a lot I just want to make sure they're nice and flat up against sometimes you got to push them up against keep them on the eyeball but push them up against the skin now I'll show you see that's better now you just have to finagle things and you know you you're not going to get it right you're going to have mess ups and but it's okay like this glue say worse comes to worse and you get glue all over the eyelashes it well it washes off you go over to the sink put some nice warm water on and you gently wash the eyelashes and you can use them again don't be afraid yeah that's the big thing don't be afraid try it and you know you learn by your failures anyway yeah and it's sort of satisfying to say hey look what I did I changed this doll right and yeah. like if you have a doll maybe that um, 
isn't your favorite maybe <laughs> and you can practice on it yeah. you know that's really the best thing but you know like I have had a lot of failures doing this stuff and um, just, just take your kids doll and mess with it <laughs> and that way if it gets messed up the kid will never know yeah really you know? <laughs> okay um, so once we get these limbs stuffed this is the one I stuffed and I've got to stuff the other three and I'll come back to you guys all right so I'm not gonna be putting the body together right now but it will be on this video don't worry right now I'm gonna show you and I know I've done this in another video but I'm just might as well include everything on this video so you're gonna take some of this glued super glue gel You know what, let me shake it first, because sometimes with this gel, it gets liquidy up at the top. And I like the gel better so it won't run. Put a little there, and then I turn it over, and I put a little there. Then I take a Q-tip, and move it around. Make sure there's no like big globs and what this will do if you guys haven't watched any of my other videos in the past is you let that sit for at least four hours and you can tighten the zip ties you know not super duper duper tight but you don't have to leave them real loose anymore to get the limbs to move in the body so that's what I'm gonna do to all of these limbs I'll do it to one more and then I'll this is the little arm. Now my mom had a doll the other day that had really skinny grooves. And it was hard, I couldn't even get the Q-tip in there, so my mom cut, like, cut the Q-tip, um, trimmed it like a little bit. And strangely enough, I do not do this to the neck. You guys can, but I've never had problems with the neck moving. Okay, I'm gonna do the other two off camera. Now it's time to insert these zip ties into the body. Now we're using the body that it came with. Um, make sure that you get the flat side so that this will go into that hole there. I think most of you probably know how to use zip ties, but just in case you don't, that's what you want to do. Um, you, if you, so you want it to be around there like that. Like I've put it in before where it's been opposite, and then you've got to totally take it back out again. So. Some of these bodies too are lined and it's kind of real hard to, 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 I don't know, to get the thing in there. So what I do is I bend this end like that, okay? And I stick it in there and it just goes through so that was much a smoother. smart idea. Well, I just got to thinking and I thought, well, well it's that pointy part that, now here. when I, when I put it in, I just close it a little bit, not all the way because the leg isn't ready to go in there yet. The leg is drying. Okay, so. Now are these, these are, those are used. You're a smart cookie, Kirsten. Yeah. yeah, you are. Okay, now look at this one. You gotta be careful. It depends how they bend these things. See, this is naturally bending this way, but if you put it in like that, it's gonna be wrong. So you're gonna have to put it in the opposite of what you would feel. In other words, you don't wanna always go with the bend of the zip tie. You have to always go with that flat side going into that, like that. So the legs are done and ready and waiting. My mom's still bebopping around the house even though she's tired. But I can't tell her anything. Nope, nope she hey, says. It's payback from when you were a teenager. Well, yeah, but when you're a teenager, you're really stupid. <laughs> you're, you're, you should know better by now, Mom. Yeah, that's true. Nah. <laughs> oh, no. This one's not cut. There's still the old one in there, so. What? Yeah. That's the old one, get that sucker out of there. Sometimes, like this one has like a lining on the inside, you don't have to fold it down to get it through, but.
and then her head. You know, Mom, I need to learn more about the videos and how to like quicken things. Like some people, they fast forward oh, things yeah. as they do it, and I just suck. I don't know how to do it. Me neither. And I just love this little tail. I'm gonna take this in. Okay, she's and... ready. Now, yeah. usually I like to wait until the legs are in before I stuff it. Um, but all right, I have waited four hours. Never mind, this is another project we have going on. Um, I have a lot of projects going on. All right, this. Here's the limbs of my mom's baby doll. It's nice and dry around there. When you spread it, you wanna make sure, I'm doing that to make sure everything's dry. When you spread it, you wanna make sure there's no lumps of any super glue or else that'll just take even longer to dry and it'll just be. So I like to put the legs on first and then stuff it because it just makes it easier. Are you sure that fits, Bobby? Yes, I'm positive. Are you sure? Yeah. It looks right. awful small. Well, it is small. But she looks bigger. I know, Mom, but that's her body for sure. Okay. That came with her. All right. This is a small body. Do you want to look in our stash and see if there's no, a bigger that's body? that's fine. Okay. That's fine. Okay. She's a baby. She's a little baby. Yeah. Okay, so anyway, you make sure that the zip tie is going to be going around the leg there. And it's a little hard to do one-handed. Sometimes I'll hold it with my mouth and zip it closed like that. And see, it moves so easy because of that wonderful super glue trick. I can even tighten it up a little more and it still moves great. All right, so that being on, I shall clip this off. We use toenail clippers because it gets right up next to it and doesn't leave any jagged edges. Smoother. Yeah. Much smoother. <clears throat> nice and smooth. Okay. Here's the other leg. I'm gonna put all the limbs on, just like I did the last ones. So I might just go ahead and stop this and then um, come back. I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got all the limbs on. So now I wanna take some of this nice stuffing. And when this is in the body, it doesn't sound scraggly or anything like the old stuffing does. And I put it right in the bottom. I'm going to put that in first and kind of spread it out. Take a little more. Put it in the bottom. You're kind of going to want to make a nest for the old scrotum. <laughs> Let me show you how to make a scrotum. You know, this is already um, an adult um, humor video, so we're just going to go ahead and be ourselves. All right, so I'm I'm showing you what I do with a long um, knee high, okay? Now, if you want, you can put this in a glass and like a, a drinking glass so that it holds it open for you, but I'm getting kind of used to doing it, so I just kind of do this. Now watch me <laughs> spill it all over the place. That'd be funny. And it just goes right down in there. And you just keep filling it. Now, you know, when we first started doing this, we would weigh it and yada yada, but now we just kind of play it We've by ear. we got a feel for how full the scrotum should be. Yeah. <laughs> and mom, you need to get over here so you can... Feel it? No, I don't want you to feel my scrotum. <laughs> I want you to come over here and tell them what you said when we were off camera. Come here. First of all. Now my scrotum's nice and big and heavy. So wait, let me let me show them how to tie off the scrotum. Now, now this does look like a nut sack, although only one nut. Because maybe we've given our left nut. You know, have you heard that saying, oh, he gave his left nut? Well, this guy gave his left nut. So this is the right nut. So then you take this. Tie that guy's scrotum good. 
<laughs> Tie it like that. Now, what you can do if you really want to is you can double it up. But I don't really do that anymore because to me it wastes. It's a waste. A waste, it's waste, of waste of scrotal material. You can double it up and do that. All right, but we don't do that anymore. And we with used the price of everything these days, you have to be careful about uh, saving your scrotal material. Yeah. And so then I cut this, and then you can use this probably for two more scrotums. But you okay. have to tie knots in them. Yeah. Yeah. This is a nice knot that I tied in it. Okay, Mom, what were you doing off camera? <laughs> Well, I was sitting here. I was worn out, tired, and I just was sitting here. And I, <laughs> I said, Kirsty, close your eyes and feel this. I said, if you do that, it feels like pubic hair. Yeah, no, you said, close your eyes and feel it. So I did, and you said, tell me what that feels like. And I said, pubic hair. Yeah. And you said, yeah. Yeah, and it's been quite a while since I've felt any pubic hair. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Oh, Lord, forgive me. I'm tired. We just have fun, that's all. I mean, it's been a long day. So. It's been a very long day. And here's where we keep our eyes. This is my eye Collection. stash. And then my mom also has an eye stash as well. Um, but we're not going to change her eyes until my mom gets some eyes from AliExpress that she had ordered a while ago. Yeah, I ordered some eyes from AliExpress for a dollar eighty-seven a pair. Yeah, and I did have to pay like three dollars for shipping or something, but they'll be here by July, I hope. So we're not going to change her eyes until they come. Here, why don't you finish filming, so okay. I can no, no turn it around. That's right. Yeah. Um, let me, can, can you film what I'm doing here mm -hmm. now that you're sitting? Mm -hmm. um, I've, got, I've, I've been rejuvenated. Oh, wait. Okay, so here's the scrotum, right? Okay, yeah. Place the scrotal <laughs> sack in the nest of cotton and let it just fall down into the scrotal area. <laughs> I can't see. Well, that's, I, I don't know what else to call it, Mom. <laughs> bag, a, bag a glass. It's more fun no, it's to say more... scrotal sack. <laughs> that's right. Okay. <laughs> well, it is a scrotal sack. Oh. Gosh. And then fluff up the rest of the cotton and put it gently around the scrotal sack so you're you're encompassing the whole scrotum with the nice soft the nice soft angel the, silk the stuff. Good, the good stuff, yeah. yeah. And if you cover the scrotal sack with angel silk, it doesn't seem to make it so bad. <laughs> Doesn't make what so bad? Scrotal. Oh. <laughs> yeah, she does have a small body, Mom. Yes, she does. But you can always change that later. We have stuff in our parts department. What? And she's cute. That's weird. That's your glass. Yeah, but this is really fine. That's weird. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's the glass. Huh. Hmm. It's really strange. Oh, well. Something. It's almost... Um, like sand? Yeah. Unless, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Sugar? Maybe. Don't taste it. No, I won't. Out. And stuffing this is going to be totally what you like. You know? Yeah. How much you put in there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, she's so cute. I cannot wait to get her head back on. Well, it's coming. And I think she looks better since we changed her eyes. There's... It's not that much of a change, but... No. And sometimes we keep the eyes on them that they come with. Yeah, like sometimes. we did for... Um, Harper. Harper. Harper Hart. Oh, goodness. I always try to make sure to get stuffing in the shoulders and stuff. And sometimes, even when you get the head on, you're like... Uh, maybe I should have stuffed it some more, and then you have to take the head off. and you, well, you waste a zip tie doing that, but that's why we usually like to have an overabundance of zip ties. Yeah. You can never have too many zip ties. That's true. <clears throat> I appreciate all the work you're doing today, sweetheart. It's no Mom. problem. Oh, look at that cute little girl. And then I kind of balance her head against my wonderful, nice, firm <laughs> boob. <laughs> well, I... 
What did you say? <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> I heard you say something was firm. Yeah, that's me. I'm super firm. I think you're lying. You are. Yeah, you're right. I am. Okay. Now, they sold this baby as a boy, but, oh, I just think she's adorable. She does have a little body, but I think it matches, I think. Yeah, with her, her she looks like a tiny baby. Yeah. A little fatty, fat Sue. So, she's all ready to go. Um, I'm going to find something cute for her. Yeah, why don't we stop it and then show them.